Hey guys, it's Taryn. The Lord put it on my heart recently to publish a prayer for those who are caught up in the, what I will call the kingdom spouse deception. You know, I told the Lord I wasn't really keen on delving into this area, but he graciously told me that I could simply publish a prayer and that is so merciful of him because he really cares about those who are under the veil of a delusion that comes straight from the enemy for those who are vulnerable. You know, this is when we can't fall into idolatry, idolatry and become prey to false prophets. And so if this is you, please understand that I am in no way condemning you, nor is the Lord, I believe, but he is calling to you to come out and to receive deliverance from what I believe to be the spirit of divination. So Father, we just thank you first of all for highlighting this to us, for exposing the schemes of the adversary in our lives so that we are not caught up or led astray and so i pray just thanksgiving for those that you have led to this message today that may have gotten stuck in the ditch of this kingdom spouse deception lord because of a variety of reasons lord but you see you see into their heart you see where people are lonely or where people are lustful or where we have built up idols that cause us to look for security and belonging and satisfaction natural as it may be in an inordinate way with man lord instead of with you and so we thank you for highlighting this today and ask god that you just bring the mercy of conviction and repentance to the hearts of the listeners i bind every spirit of divination every spirit of astrology, every spirit of witchcraft that is dressing up in language that sounds like holiness, language that sounds like righteousness. I expose in the name of Jesus all false holy spirits, all sentient spirits, all sentient spirits, all monitoring spirits in the name of Jesus, all spirits of divination hiding behind kingdom spouse deception be bound and evicted from the listener now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you for the freedom that you are bringing today and for the mysteries that you have in store for the person that is listening. For you love them, Lord, and you have ordained a perfect plan for them, a hope, God, and a future. Oh, Father, you have planned, Lord, to prosper the listeners. And I pray in Jesus' name that the hooks that the enemy has gotten into the listener's mind and into the listener's heart to create them to be hinged, addicted, and obsessed with a well of false prophecy and hits of dopamine off a play button from a spirit uh, that is unclean, that is not of you, that is not your living water. I pray for increased and heightened discernment, Lord. May their hearts recoil at what you yours hates oh father i ask for forgiveness god for the listeners lord who have been swept up in this movement in jesus name lord you see the thoughts and desires of our heart and you say if we seek first your kingdom the kingdom of god and your righteousness all of our desires all of our longings all of our wants all of our needs will be added unto us and so i pray right now for a mighty move of your holy spirit to reorient the focus of your people back towards you not an imaginary kingdom spouse, Lord, but towards you, for you are our kingdom spouse. And I declare this over the listener now, that Jesus Christ himself, Lord, hallelujah, we thank you. Jesus Christ himself has proposed to you. He himself is the rose that God the Father has offered to you, and you yourself are the rose that God the Father has offered in return to Jesus. Be married. O Israel, to your God and leave idolatry behind. This is an empty cistern. This kingdom spouse is an empty cistern. This kingdom spouse well is poison. 
may it be exposed. Loose your people from it in Jesus' name and strike it down. Remove your people from silly distractions, O Father. And into the true move of your spirit, the true move of your spirit. Jesus Christ, the spirit of prophecy who comes to call people to repentance that they may be delivered from bondage. I'm going to pray in the spirit now as the Lord leads. He says, we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Holy Spirit makes intercession for our behalf. According to Paul in Romans, I will not ask for an interpretation, but I may provide uh, some translation below, uh, Lord willing, later. But if you have the gift of interpretation, um, please reach out. And so we thank you, Father God, and we ask you, Holy Spirit, to intercede on the behalf of those who have been poisoned by this well in Jesus' name. I, ex I break a spirit of rejection in the name of Jesus. Spirit of rejection, seducing spirits, Jezebel spirits. Uh, I break your power with the blood of Jesus right now in Jesus' name. You have to go. Thank you, Father, for exposing the spirit of rejection. Father God, I thank you for the gift of marriage and for your perfect and divine plan in it, for you have made it and it is good. However, God, we are a people who are sinful sometimes and we, we stray and we begin to worship your creation rather than you, our creator. And so I ask you bring listeners who need to repent for idolizing marriage, for keeping marriage as a beacon of satisfaction and fulfillment that it simply can't fulfill, it simply can't do. Only you can, O oh Father. Holy Spirit, I ask that you pray for this for the listeners now. In Jesus' name, break off the witchcraft of kingdom spouse deception. In Jesus' name. Any way that this ministry, this false kingdom spouse ministry has come in the way of your ordained spouse for this person, oh God, I ask that you bind this interference and you remove this ruse in Jesus' name. I'm hearing the Lord just over and over again say intimacy. Know me intimately. Know me intimately like a bride knows a bridegroom. There is a word for intimacy in knowing the Lord where he says, do not trust or lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge me and I will direct your paths. That word acknowledge is not the greatest translation. <laughs> it's actually to know. That word to acknowledge is not a distant acknowledging of God or faith in the background somewhere on a back burner when you are lonely or desirous or your hope has been deferred. This knowing is a knowing of a man with his woman, the way that Adam knew Eve or the way that Abra or that God said of Abraham, I knew him. I knew him. Okay. Don't Okay, Pharisees, I rebuke you in Jesus' name, rising up in the comments to make this creepy or sexual somehow. I'm just going to rebuke that right now in Jesus' name. Those who have ears to hear understand that Father God calls us to lay down, lay down the desires of our flesh and walk in the spirit because ultimately nothing else will satisfy those deep, deep places except for relationship and communion with Almighty God, our Creator. And so we call upon you, Father God, for mercy, for wanton hearts, O oh God. Anybody who is anybody who has come into agreement with a spiritual entity through the Kingdom Spouse videos, I ask 
Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you loose them and that you issue forth a certificate of divorce. You have to go in the name of Jesus. You have to go in the name of Jesus. If the listener is repentant, you have to go. Spirit spouses, unclean spirits, we don't care how you are referred to. You know who you are. The Holy Spirit has spotted you. You have been exposed and you are evicted by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony that he who has called us is faithful and he will do it. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, that you leave the 99 to collect the one. May this be the start. Oh, Father God, a freedom for someone today from bondage, from deception, and into the light and glorious truth of your freedom and intimacy with you, our bridegroom, our husband, and our Lord. Father God, extract the poison of unbiblical, false doctrine from your people. Let your people be so consumed with you, your beauty, your word, and your purpose in their lives that they are not distracted by their own desires because they so fully enjoy and trust in you. God bless you. And feel free to subscribe to the channel here or my blog at gospelinthegarden.com. And you can check out the live section for War Room Wednesdays, where we come alongside those of you in need of deliverance as a sort of midwife to bring you into the victory that God has brought for you on the cross. God bless you and I love you. Goodbye.